Hello my friends and welcome back. Today we are going to be doing a full face of elf makeup. Now this is kind of partially some reviews too because some of the stuff that you guys have seen before, some of the stuff is stuff that I just bought. And so I guess it's kind of like a review, first impressions, full face of elf makeup, so to speak. But anyway, we'll just go ahead and do this. Um, I wanted to show you guys my new products that I got real quick and then we will jump into it here. So like I said, some of these things are new to me, and then the other stuff that I'm using you guys will probably recognize from other videos, but I picked up, let's see, what did I pick up? I picked up this um, oil-free medium coverage Elf Flawless Satin Foundation. This is in the shade Pearl. This is neutral undertones. This is literally the lightest shade the Walmart I went to had, but I think... I think we'll be okay. Guess we'll find out. But, um, yeah, it's medium coverage, so we shall see. So there was that. And then I picked up this e.l.f. mascara length and volume, and obviously it's in black, but there's that. Um, these are the things I'm showing you right now. It's just stuff that I've never tried before. I'm really hoping that foundation's in my shade. But anyway, here is and I also got the, and I've heard really good things about this, the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. And I've heard real good things about that. And for that, I got, this is also the lightest shade they went to, but fair beige. So I'm kind of hoping that won't be too dark. I think we'll be okay though. But that is that. I've heard good things about that. So I've been anxious to try that. I found this, where is it, there it is, e.l.f. blush in the shade, and that is literally called blushing, but there's, it's kind of like a soft pinky, if oh, my camera focus, there we go, like a pinky tone to it, so there's that, because I don't like too loud a blush on my face anyway, like I don't want to be huge and like loud, so I thought that was something kind of softer, and then I got this nice bronzer palette, um, yeah, it's just called Bronze, Bronzer Palette, Bronze Beauty. But, there's that. I'm going to take it out for you. Guys, this is literally, like, the nicest bronzer box I have ever gotten. Like, look at how fancy this is. It makes me feel, like, super fancy. Like, look how fancy that is. Like, that, and then you open it up, and it's got, like, four different bronzers to choose from. And then it got a mirror, so I was pretty excited about that. And then we get this e.l.f. Metallic Flare Highlighter in White Gold. Um, I think this is the only highlighter they had there as well, but I thought that was a real pretty highlighter. And of course it gets stuck in there. There. Release. There's that. Kind of a real pretty color. And then what else did I get? Oh. I got this e.l.f. eyeliner pen in, of course, black. And I don't know, it just looks like this. I mean, it's not anything too fancy. If I can get out, there it goes. It looks like that. It is in black, but it had it in white packaging. They had another eyeliner there, but I figured I would try this since, I don't know, I'm not really good with eyeliner anyway. But I figured we can try all that out today. And I just wanted to read you guys some of the prices real quick, because I thought the pricing for e.l.f. is like, gosh darn good, because you guys know I love my drugstore products. So for the Flawless Foundation, that was $6.00. I didn't think that was terrible. Um, the e.l.f. blush was three dollars. Awesome. Uh, the white gold, I'm assuming that was like the highlighter. That, ooh, God, that was six dollars. It is that terrible. Uh, the fair beige, that was the camo concealer, I bet. That was six dollars. The e.l.f. mascara was four dollars. The eyeliner pen was three dollars. The bronzer was seven dollars. So, oh no, I didn't actually think that was terrible. 
But anyway, not too shabby. So let's get started. Oh my god. <clears throat> I'm like throwing things. But anyway, I already have like an elf eyeshadow palette that I want to use. I already have like an elf eye primer that I haven't even opened yet. Um, I have elf finish powder that I'm going to be putting on my face. I had a primer and a setting spray already. And I had the lipstick, of course. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to do a full set and completion of that. Let's get started. Set those over here somewhere. Okay, so first thing I am going to use is the e.l.f. Blemish Control Face Primer. I like it. I mean, obviously you guys see me use this before, but I like it. I think it does what I wanted to do. So yeah. Do you want out? See, I tell you guys, it's like having children, except your children, when they're two, they eventually have a birthday and they go from two to three to four to five and so on and so forth. This is a forever two-year-old that I have here. Let me tell you. Forever two. Put some of that just down here a little bit too so I'm going to be pulling that down on my neck because I just have a little bit of breakouts right here I have acne breakouts once in a while it is not the makeup product I use it's just I've been battling a acne like since puberty and it's just my face so ignore that do you still want out? let me let her out real quick guys Anyway, moving on. Now, let's go ahead and give this foundation a try. You guys know I like using my BB Pure, but I don't know how this foundation is going to go over. So we're going to skip the BB Pure today. Like I said, I got this shade Pearl, which is like the lightest they had. So I'm really hoping that that works. How the hell do you get this thing open? Oh, eh, would help if I actually pulled the tab, huh? Alright, okay. Put them on my wet real technique sponge. I'm not using e.l.f., sorry, but I really do like this sponge. What's happening? There we go. Okay, we'll start with that. Let me grab my little mirror here because I can't see far away, so this just helps. Oh god, that was okay. That's a lot. That is just my bad. Apparently, I have a lot there. Ooh, a little bit of this goes a long way, people. That's all right. I'm gonna take this and pull it down to my neck as well. I do like the coverage. I don't definitely do not need to use that much. I think maybe two pumps would have done me well, but that's okay. You know, just blend that all in here. I think. That should be fine for color wise. So, yay! Woo! That is definitely some coverage to it. Wow, I'm impressed. I am going to score like one drop of this though, just for my neck. And then we're going to pull it down. Like I said, I've been dealing with acne since, like, puberty. 
So I am just like totally used to it. And I'm going to move this ring light just a little bit so you guys can see me all the There we go. That way I don't look white. Well, there's that. I like this so far. I think this is okay. Alright, alright, alright. Cool, cool. I will give my final opinions on, like, everything when I am done. But so far, I do like this foundation a lot. I'm going to actually see if I can lower that lighting just a little bit because it's going to bother me. There we go. There. I didn't want it, like, too dark, but I don't want it, like, too light either. That makes sense. Ooh! Okay. It's alright. It's fine. Actually, that might be better. No, it's not better. Sorry, guys. I'm, like, fiddling with this thing. Sorry guys, I'm like figuring this out here. Yeah. Good enough. There, that's better. We're gonna leave it. I'm not touching it anymore. I'm done. Anyway, now I am gonna be going in with where is it? This. The Elf 16 hour camo concealer. And I'll show you guys a close up of that as soon as I get it out. Like I said, this was like the lightest shade they had, so hopefully it's okay. But this was in fair beige. I'm not sure if that's going to be okay, but that's all right. And that's what that looks like. Wow! Look at how big that thing is. Oh my crap, that is not messing around. I'll just make some dots there. Okay. Alright. So that's what that looks like. Sorry guys, my lighting is just all over the place tonight. Alright, so there's that. And then I'm going to take my sponge here and just kind of dab that. Okay. I think we can make light beige work. Not bad. Okay. I like that too. Actually, I can see what all the hype's about now. Now we are going to be moving into some bronzer. I'm really excited for this, guys. Bye bye. I like how it comes with a mirror too, it just makes me happy. I don't want to go with anything too crazy. I'm thinking maybe this one, the shade right here. Oops, sorry guys, don't mean to blind you. This shade right here. And then we'll go then and see how that half works. Like I said, I'll get my final impressions when I am done. But this is an old general thing. I do like that color. Alright. 
I'm not mad at it. Cool. We like this. Alright guys, now it is time for some blush. And literally the shade for this is like blushing. So I thought this was pretty cute. Let me see this. Figure out how to open it here real quick. How do you open it? Ah, there we go. Got it. And let me just do like a little swatch for you guys real quick. Okay, alright. She's cute. Like a light pink. You guys can like barely see that. I'm sorry. Like a light pink, but it's, it'll be okay. We'll make it work, hopefully. Let me find a brush brush. There we go. I'm gonna take just some of that. Like so. I'm gonna set that down while I break it. And do Okay, so she is very soft. Like, you could barely see her. Can we build her up? Okay, you can build her up. Got a little bit of sparkle in there, which, I mean, I'm not mad about. I don't mind that. Let me go in on the other side here. <laughs> Alright, she's cute. Like, she's there, she's subtle, but she's saying, hey, I'm here, though. I can live with that. I am going to take my ultimate blending brush and just kind of blend that. Like so. She's cute, though. Like, hey, I'm here, I'm subtle, but I'm here. I'm going to let you know I'm here to stay. Alright, we like it. She's cute. Quit messing with the light, Becky. Stop it. Like yelling at myself now. Alright, now let's try some highlighter. I'm excited for this too. Let me get a smaller brush because I don't want to go super crazy with highlighter. Mm -hmm. Alright. I'm not finding a brush I like that one, so we'll go into this one over here. My motor brush is here. And that's how tonight's going. That was my whole freaking eyeshadow palette. Okay, friends, we've had some casualties. It's okay, we will rebuild. Um, so unfortunately, when this fell, it just kind of slid off. This broke right here, and then this broke over here. I think everything else is looking okay, though. Unfortunately, there's nothing left of those shades to save, but we will be very careful. And apparently we have ghosts, because that just slid off and did its own thing there. Moving on. It may just shed a tear slightly, though. That was kind of sad. Anyway, I'm going to swatch this. Ooh! Okay. Alright. So she's there as well. I'm not mad at it. Of course, that's just on my finger, though. The real test will be on my face. We'll go in with this brush. Just dabble in there. Okay, and then I'm just going to do a little bit on the Q 
for spell here? Okay. Alright. I wasn't for sure because it wasn't coming out of my brush, but it's showing up. I am going to do like right in here. Um, excuse you. I love it. Google Maps is going to find us, and that's completely fine with me. Because we shine. Yeah. Yeah, now I'm going to put just a little bit underneath my eyes as well. Or eyebrows, I should say. Just for something different. Oops, I guess I can show you this. Do that. And like that. Yeah! Cool, cool. I'm excited, guys. Let's put very lightly on my nose as well. Just like kind of going like a line there. Very lightly. Alright, she's there! I like it. I don't know how well this is going to show up on camera, but can you guys see it? Like I said, I like to glow. Neat! I am going to slightly dab that ever so slightly. Just to make sure it blends well. Which it does. Yes, 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 yes. Alright, I am going to set my face. We've done all this work. We wanted to stay a while with the e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD Powder. You guys seen me use this before. Comes with a nice little mirror in there. And what I'm doing is just pretty much setting everything before setting spray, if that makes sense. Just making sure it's like there. It doesn't want to like go anywhere. Good. Okay, moving on now. Alright, let us try. Let's go in the mascara next. And this is just the length and volume mascara in black. Alright, so the spoolie's a little bit different, but that's okay. I'll show you guys. That's just kind of what she looks like, but that's okay. Um, hello. Okay, so this is with mascara, this is without. Hello, how are you? Oh yeah, you live here now. I like it. I have a feeling I'm gonna like everything, guys. That's okay. Oh yeah, you live here now. I'm just gonna fix that little spot there. Yes. Sure. All right. I like this. This is a good video, guys. I'm glad we haven't had any misses yet. Not on one. Besides that whole eyeshadow incident. We won't talk about that. So now, let's go ahead with the eye 
or elf eye primer. You guys have seen me use this before. It's just new and I haven't opened it up, but I've had it for a while and it's just been sitting there because I wanted to use up another eyeshadow, which I have not yet, but you know, that's all right. This comes out in a sheer, so you're not going to be able to see it anyway. I've used this before, and I know that I like it, but I will show you guys a little bit closer up at that as soon as I get this out. Alright, so it just looks like that. There we go. Comes in like a little spoolie. And you guys do this. So there's that one. All right, give that just a second to let it do its thing here. I'm gonna go for one more. Cool. Be careful not to get it on your eyelid or your eyelashes because it sticks to your mascara. We're just going to lightly do this. There we go. Without dropping that freaking eyeshadow palette again. But before that, before we get, we are adding the e.l.f. tape today. You guys seen me use this before too, and it just kind of creates a border for where your eyeshadow can go. Because sometimes I go crazy and I kind of need it, and just to let me know, hey Becky, you need to calm it down. I'm trying to get this as evenly as possible. I feel like every time I do this, I never get it even. There's that sign. You can use regular tape for this too. You can use band-aids, but I figure since it was kind of like an elf makeup thing today, we would use these as well. There's that sign. I think that's about as even as that's gonna get today, people. Alright, so be careful not to drop this gorgeous eyeshadow palette besides the few casualties that we have had already today with that. I haven't done like a blue in a hot minute. Let's do blue. I'm thinking maybe this color is really standing out to me today. Now I'm gonna just watch that. Like look how pretty that is. Like Let's just swatch that. Ooh, okay, we may need to build that up, but that's okay too. We'll have to build that up, but I think it's okay. But first, we're gonna go in with a transitional shade here. Let's do... I think I'm gonna do this one, kind of like right here for a transitional, and then we will move in with that blue. A lot of things happening with this eye today, folks, but 
Okay. Oh, this is the Elf Eye Shadow Palette. I believe 100 shades, by the way. Now, 98. Because we lost two. Rest in peace. This is completely a transitional shade, so you're not going to really see too much of that anyway. I'm keeping this palette on my lap just because it's so big and it doesn't have a mirror. so sad. Alright, now I'm going to go in with a different brush here. Because Lord knows I have many. But this is also by Elf, by the way. And we're just going to go in with that blue shade here. Kind of like a teal, I guess. Teal blue. Like so. So there's what's going on right there, right now. I do have to build this up just a little bit, but I'm not mad at that at all. I think one more time on that eye, and we'll be good to go on that. Alright, let me go and do the same thing on the other eye again as well. And then I think we're going to go on with another blue shade and darken up the outer corner a little bit. But, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Ooh, a little bit of fallout. But I'm used to that with this palette. Um, it's alright. I do not mind a little bit of fallout. Now that's what's happening over here right now. Go on a second time here. Maybe that's there. Oh. A little bit of fallout right here as you can see, but I'm going to definitely clean my eyes up when we're done. As you guys know, if you're familiar with my channel. One more time. So here's the situation looks crazy right now, but we will all be cleaning up. I am going to take another brush though, and I am going to go in with a darker blue just on like the outside here and just kind of darken that up ever so slightly. I'm not usually doing this, but I figured today, why not?
All right, so I think what I'm going to end up doing is... Let's try this dark blue shade right here. I would tell you shade names, but this does not have shade names. Which is fine. I'm very careful in this color. Even that. Let's just take that over the whole freaking eye. Why not? There we go. I love that. Alright. And so it's looking kind of dark in that up so slightly. And I'm going to do that on the other whoop, side as well. Careful to get the right shade. There's that situation. It looks crazy, I know. Now, before I do anything else, I'm going to go in with a... eye blender brush here. And we are just going to kind of blend this out just a little bit more. I'm not going to pull down my eyeshadow today. I know it looks like I did on this side, but we're going to clean that up. Alright. And then, one more thing. I am going to take this white that I have right here. And it's like a little bit of sparkly. Right here, and just put that in my inner corner of my eye, just to kind of brighten up. It was just, I guess it's like a tan white, tannish. Very careful, we just kind of like so, and then we'll do that one more time, but with this side. Alright, now that that's done, let's just take a moment of silence, or silence, for the eyeshadows that we have lost when this fell. This one, right here. Actually, I'm going to open it. This one, right here. And this one, over here. It's okay. We will remember you. We appreciate your service. Moving on. Alright guys, now the moment of truth, see how crazy this looks. Alright. Anyway, see how much fallout I got though? Now I'm going to clean these up off camera and I will be right back and you guys will see me put on liner. Alright guys, I am back. I went to town. We fought for a little while, but I got this cleaned up to I think how I like it. So now you guys get to see me use eyeliner. Um, with the new e.l.f. eyeliner that I got. You guys know I am not very good at eyeliner at all, but practice makes perfect, so let's just do it. Ooh, okay, so it's like a fine tip style. We shall see how this goes. I'm not going to do anything crazy. Oh my god. Alright, so she is very sensitive. Uh, 
Jesus. She is sensitive indeed. And you see that? I'm going to have to clean that up here in just a sec. But. Very steady hand that I don't have. Oh my god, what is happening to my life right now? I should have done this off camera. Okay, things are happening, people. Why, it is not good. I like the eyeliner, but it is just not good. It is sensitive. You gotta go with the light hand. Let me clean this up real fast. Hold on. Alright, I'm back. We have some thoughts on that eye, or eye, what are you? You are eyeliner. I have some thoughts on this, but we will talk about that when we are done. We battled, we fought, there was casualties, like, it was, we'll talk about that. Anyways, moving on, let's go in with, uh, I don't even know where I'm at anymore. Lipstick. We're gonna do lipstick. I don't know what we're doing for lipstick. Let's see here. I've been thinking about possibly a either blue or a, or not a blue, but a red or a nude with this. And I'm kind of thinking maybe like a brick red would be alright. Oh hell, let's do it. And this is by e.l.f. Once again, you guys didn't use this before. This is their matte lipstick. Alright, let me clean that up a little bit. We definitely went for a very dramatic look today. But that's alright. God, I'm gonna break my hair. Alright, I just need to do like the slightest touch up with this real quick and we will do the setting spray, we will give our final thoughts on everything. Thank you for sticking with me thus far. This is what I want? No. See, yeah, I'm all close with that. That's what I want. Okay. 
Alright guys, last but not least, we are using the Elf Dewey setting this, and this is in coconuts. This does smell really nice. Pin up. Okay, let's talk about stuff for a minute here. Um, so this is the overall look. Um, this is literally my baby now because it took me so long, and I did not mean for this video to be this long. But anyway, let's go over stuff here. Uh, let's start with this foundation here. I like this. It leaves, I mean, that, God, that do signs right very fast. Anyway, um, I do like this a lot. I think I did find the right shade pearl, and I think this is going to be good. I can't wait to use this again, so I do recommend the, uh, L Flawless Satin Foundation. It's also oil-free, so it's nice and lightweight, too, but I do recommend this. Um, this 16-hour camo concealer, that is not it, this. I do like this as well. Um, I think we worked out with the beige today. Um, yeah, I do recommend this as well. It definitely covered is nice. You guys already know I like the eye primer from e.l.f. I use that a lot. You guys already know I do like my e.l.f. Coconut Setting Spray. The finish powder. Obviously, you guys know I like that as well, but this blush is cute. It is subtle, but that's okay. I think you can work and build on it, but it is cute, but she is there, and I would buy it again, probably, if I wanted to go for a very subtle look. So, yes, I would buy that again. This e.l.f. highlighter is the bomb.com. I know that sounds so corny, but I like it a lot. This is really nice. I would definitely get that. This contour, or not contour, excuse me, bronzer palette is great. Like, I think it's great. I love that they added a little mirror in there. And then you got four shades to play around with. This is nice. I would definitely get that again as well. The mascara, where is that? There it is. This I do like as well. She is there. She's like, hey, girl, buy me. And yes, definitely would buy that again as well. Definitely brightens up my lashes. <sighs> Let's talk about this eyeliner. I'm pretty sure that's a freaking liquid eyeliner. And I don't remember reading one on the package. In fact, I don't think it even says it on the package. Let's see here. Let me read the back real quick. The smudge free, <laughs> budge free eyeliner is long lasting and offers a first round of this year. Easily and fine to bold lines. <laughs> so it doesn't say anything about it being liquid eyeliner, but it almost comes out to me as a liquid eyeliner, or it's just that sensitive, people. It's a nice eyeliner. I want to get that across too. It is a nice eyeliner. You just got to go in with a steady hand, and I did not. I thought it wouldn't go on like all over the place like it did, but it did. I would get this again. I just known to like have a steady hand with it. Um, I went to war with it. Like I literally had to take off my eyeshadow and then we apply my eyeshadow just to get this stuff off. Like it was thick. So definitely when you guys are using this, go in with a very steady hand and very light handed as well. So just a little tip on that. But that is it for today's video. Thank you guys for sticking with me. I appreciate it. And I appreciate all of you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know. <coughs> excuse me. In the comments. If there's any other elf products that you guys want me to try. And I'd be glad to try them. If there's something you like. there's something you didn't like about the products. Just let me know too. And that is it for today guys. And I will see you later. Bye.